All right, what's going on guys? So right now we have the van pushed outside. We've been taking some things out. We got like the EVAP canister. We took the cruise control out. And uh, that cleared up a lot of space right here. And we also took off the uh, windshield wiper motor. Uh, that was hanging right here, but we just took that off for now to help get the motor in because when we were pulling the old one out, that was a real pain because it kept hitting on that. So we pulled that out for now. And right now I'm getting ready to pull these uh, two AC lines out. And then we'll pull the little condenser thing right here out as well. And uh, yeah, then we'll push it back inside and see if we can't uh, get everything else we need on the motor and just drop it in. I don't see why we can't do that today right now. So uh, yeah, gonna get these lines out and then we'll get her pushed back in. Weight reduction room. Alright guys, so I got some good news and some bad news. So the good news is we got the motor in and we have done a lot so far, but the bad news is I don't know why, but my memory card on my camera like took a crap on me and I lost all the footage that we just filmed and uh, yeah, that really sucks, but the good news is the motor does fire up and uh, I think we left off, um, we were power washing out the engine bay and then, you know, we pushed it in, we got the wiring harness on, we got some fuel lines, and uh, we were able to turn it over and get this thing running uh, on the Honda. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know why the camera lost all the memory, which really sucks. So, that kind of, you know, makes, makes me upset, because there goes, like, most of the video right there. But either way, I'm just going to continue it from here. We got it figured out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn it on real quick for you guys. And uh, one other thing is the starter wire. Uh, it's like messed up or something, so we have to jump it with a screwdriver. So that is something we're gonna have to figure out. Yeah, I need to pop the hood real quick. But uh, yeah. But I mean, as you can see, guys, she's ready to go. So we're just gonna fire her up real quick. assembly hooked up so I'm gonna try to get into reverse real quick just like that and uh, let's see if she goes all right yeah she's going seems a little gutless but uh, it's working everything sounds smooth Got it backed out. She's running great. Just gonna let it warm up. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked, guys. I don't know why the front end's sitting a little higher than it used to. I'm not sure why that's like that, but uh, it's whatever. It sounds really healthy, though. She's running good. Can't wait to boost it. Okay guys, so we were obviously joking about the lawnmower, but we do have the motor ready to go in, and uh, we also did paint it as well. Uh, this valve cover right here is a junk valve cover, that's why there's some overspray on it, so don't worry about that, or else I know you guys would be complaining in the comments, but 
I think it turned out pretty good. And uh, we got the wiring harness on there and we got the rear T bracket as well. And we have the driver side mount on there. We're gonna wait before we put the passenger side mount on until it's in the van, just so we have a little more room. But uh, yeah, we're ready to drop this thing in once we obviously pull this lawnmower out. And then once that's out of there, we got to put this rear mount on. Uh, that goes like on the rear cross member thing and that bolts to the T bracket right there. So we're gonna pull this lawnmower out and then actually get to dropping in the real motor. Got the rear mount ready to go. It's time to drop the engine in. All right guys, so we got the motor in. We had to fight it a little bit, but we managed to get it in there. Um, you would think that these would have more room than like a Civic or you know anything else because it came with an F-Series to begin with. So since the H is pretty much the same platform, you would assume it would have more room on either side to fit it in there, but that was not the case at all. This fits in there really tight and uh, it is honestly way easier to put the H-Series into my Civic. It drops in like nothing. But uh, side to side at least is tighter in these than a Civic, but as far as front to back goes, there is so much room for activities up here. Look at this, guys. You could fit like a whole nother motor right in front of this one. There's so much room up here, I'm pretty sure I could make a top mount turbo manifold and still have enough room if I kept everything tight enough to put an intercooler behind the radiator support right here and just keep it like super sleeper. You wouldn't see anything but I'm still probably gonna put that intercooler in front of the radiator support like how it normally would sit, but I'm just saying there is so much room right here. It's just crazy. Just to get an idea, here's like this old box from our bench grinder. Can set this down in there, just like so. Then we can get one of our GTX 3582Rs and set that down in there. And it's like, it almost makes the turbo look small sitting in here. Let me rest this in there gently so I don't mess up the paint like that look at that guys so much room it's crazy so that's gonna be awesome to uh, you know fab stuff up I shouldn't have any issues fighting for space at all and then uh yeah that's obviously gonna be another day there's still a lot that needs to be done before we can even try to start it there's no oil it needs an oil filter and I'm also waiting on an oil pressure gauge uh, there's a hole on the back of the block where the original oil pressure sensor used to be. Right now that's just open because I'm gonna put the uh, sending unit from the gauge in there. So that's just an open hole on the block. It needs a distributor and uh, it needs coolant lines. I need to order a half size radiator. Uh, I'm probably gonna need an alternator and you know, just a whole bunch of the basic bolt on things to make it work. I did get the starter on there. It looks a little out of place since it's not yet painted. We also got the shifter cable bracket bolted down and everything is connected and it's still connected inside the van as well and we've been messing with it a little bit and I can tell you guys right now it goes into every gear perfect. So I'll show you guys that here in a second but uh, yeah, I'm just really glad we got it in. Everything's looking good, the mounts lined up great. These are the innovative mounts so everything was good with them and uh, yeah, I am stoked. So it's getting pretty late so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the shifter assembly real quick and then I think that's gonna be it for tonight, guys. So I do wanna show you guys that it does go into every gear, so I'm just gonna run through them real quick. I do have to hold this with both hands because if I don't, it's not bolted down, so it's just gonna flop around. But uh, yeah, let's go through them real quick. So we got first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So I, oh yeah, also and reverse. So it goes into every gear great. 
And uh, yeah, we just gotta make a bracket to hold this down and the shifter assembly should be pretty straightforward. Well, there you have it. The motor is in the van. Also, let me know how you guys like the paint job. I think it came out really good. It makes everything look really nice and clean in there. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's still a lot more that needs to be done before this thing will even be able to fire up, but we are getting closer each and every day, so it's only a matter of time. And now, I get to put my lawnmower back together. It was definitely worth it, though. But anyways, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching.